Hello YouTube, today we're going to be talking about this. If you don't know what this is, this is what happens when you press F3 on Java. And there's a few things that you can do with this. Um, a few tips and tricks as I'd like to say. And, oh, if this cat, I'm just going to go away from that. Um, and today, that's what I'm going to be going over. Um, these are pretty helpful in my opinion. And I'm going to be doing a few tutorials on them later that will help you get a few few rarer items actually so stay tuned for those but yeah let's get straight into the tips and tricks with f3 so the first three f3 ones are going to be more of debug f3 commands the first one is f3 plus a so if you press a and f3 oh, at the right time no let me do it correctly oh did it work okay so if you see over there in the chat it has now said reloading all chunks. So if you have a chunk problem, or if there's, you know, like, um, something's wrong with a chunk and you want to reload them all, you can do F3 plus A, and that is the first one. The next three are more performance, sort of, I guess. So the first one is Shift plus F3. So holding down Shift and pressing F3 will give you a graph. Now, if you look on the right, there is now a graph there. And it gives you certain statistics on the game and how it is running. The next one is a time frame graph, which if you press Alt plus F3, as you can see, on the bottom left, if I were to do something, say load in a bunch of chunks, as you can see, it does have spikes. So it actually tells you when your game is spiking or not, which can be pretty useful. And yeah, on to the next ones. Okay, so these next ones are more in-game sort of F3. They're useful when you're in survival and you need to know, say, this or this, which I'll go into more detail, obviously, later. Um, the first one is, personally, my favourite one, is F3 plus B. And if you get correct, which sometimes takes me a couple of time. And as you can see in the debug chat on the bottom left, it says hitboxes are shown. And if you were to... F5 out, you can now see that you have now have a hitbox on you, and this applies to anything. This can apply to a bow, this can apply to arrows. Arrows now have a hitbox. This can apply to items that are dropped, now as a hitbox. Um, it also applies to mobs, such as these cats that keep being loud. Uh, what else? Um, as you can see, you can see the fish in the water, everything, any entity now we'll have a hitbox and as i said that's my personal favorite one and the next one that we're going to be talking about will be chunks so this could be useful say if you find a slime chunk a slime chunk is super rare and you always want to mark down where it is so if you want to make a slime farm and then the way to find the chunk borders are you go f3 plus g if uh, there we go there we go it takes me a couple times and as you can see, debug chunk board is shown. It now shows me, and in the blue lines, uh, what the chunk that I'm in. The red lines are the the one chunk out. So you can see within that red line, that red line, this blue one and blue one. That's this chunk over here. And then the yellow lines is like kind of like a netting, so you can easily see, you know, just where the chunk is. So this is, as I said, could be good for slime farms it could be good for anything if you want to mine out a single chunk this would be the best way to do that and yeah that's that one the next one is clear chat history this one includes previously typed messages and commands so say you've gone this is just an example so you've gone like 10,000 blocks and there's just a bunch of stuff oh, how do you how do you do this quickly is it t yeah it's t so say there's someone spam the chat and you're super far away and you want to get the chords down so obviously you get up f3 a uh, very common way to get the coordinates up so my coordinates are 214 72 2, negative 236 so to type that in i'd then have to press um t or slash and just get rid of the slash i'd then have to try to either remember it or see it through you know, the text that's in the chat. And, you know, it's I find it inconvenient just to try to remember it or write it down. 
So what you can do is you can do DF3. If I can get it right. Uh, did it work or? Oh, okay. Never mind. This one, I forgot this one doesn't have a debug thing. But as you can see, it's gone. So now, if I press F3, I can now go into chat. I can clearly see my coordinates. Like the next one is a F3 command where you're actually able to change your render distance in game, which is F3 plus F. So this, if I press F3 plus F, my render distance is now 28. If I press it again, it's now 29, 30. And you know, this is just a quick way of changing your render distance up. And to get it back down, you press F3, F, and Shift. If I can get it right. There we go, 27, 26. This next one is Advanced Tooltips. This one will allow you to see durability of tools, items, and armors that obviously have a durability bar on them. So this is F3 plus H. If I were to quickly do that, Advanced Tooltips shown. I can now go into my inventory, I can see how much durability is left on things, for example, these netherite boots, uh, max durability 481, durability at the moment is 470. Um, I have a few lesser durability things like this shovel, almost in a quarter, pickaxe less than a quarter, see so yeah, this nice house. Um, and say the front door is like really far away, you don't want to go to the front door. So what this does is it allows you to change quickly from creative into spectator mode. And this command is F3 plus N. So say if I were to press it like that, and then spectator, and and uh, back into creative. Okay, so this next one is the last one, and it pretty much it allows you to see all the F3 commands at once. So if you would press QF3, like so, uh, you know, pretty much, it's just a guide, and yeah, um, thanks for watching, um, if this was helpful, you know, leave a little sneaky little like in the, in the like area, um, if you really enjoyed it and you want to see more, obviously subscribe, I have a few, a few ideas of, um, tutorials how to get rare items, as I said before, um, those will be out, I don't know, within a couple of weeks, maybe less than a week, depends on how much time I have. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, I will see you in the next one.